Joe Biden is on the verge of becoming the next president of the United States. Three days after the election, the counting continues in a handful of remaining battleground states. But today, Joe Biden finally pushed ahead of Donald Trump in a number of key states, including Pennsylvania, where 98 percent of the votes have been counted. Pennsylvania alone would be enough to hand him the keys to the White House. But tonight, President Trump has said he will continue his legal fight and would never give up fighting for the American people. With all but six states left to declare, Joe Biden has 253 electoral college votes and Donald Trump has 214. 270 is the number needed to win the presidency. Counting is still going on in six states, including key ones like Pennsylvania, Nevada, Arizona, and in Georgia, where the margins are so tight there's going to be a recount. Well, let's get the very latest from our North America editor, John Sopel. John. Yeah, Sophie, Joe Biden must feel he is kind of almost within touching distance of the presidency and becoming America's 46th president. He's ahead in all the places that he needs to be ahead. It is surely just a matter of time before he crosses the line and becomes president-elect. But as you say, there is going to be a recount in Georgia. There are snags in Pennsylvania. This is all dragging out and will drag through the weekend, potentially. On the other side, Donald Trump's side, there is growing frustration in the White House, that he's not getting the support that he thinks he deserves from senior Republicans, that there is no legal strategy, just a lot of writs flying around. Around. It all makes for a pretty unatmosphere in the building behind me. Joe Biden takes the lead in Pennsylvania. Donald Trump is now trailing. Joe Biden has just taken the Biden lead. Is winning the overwhelming share of the this might just be the moment, the whole ball game. The seemingly overwhelming lead that Donald Trump had in Pennsylvania the day after the election, this morning finally evaporated and has become a Biden lead. If the Democratic challenger wins here, it's game over for the president. Pretty soon the hyphen will be gone from vice president to president-elect Joe Biden. Uh, it's a happy day for our country. And the march of the maths has been played out in small government buildings and windowless offices in Arizona, Pennsylvania, Nevada and Georgia. A thousand votes here, a few hundred there, all the time chipping away at Donald Trump's grip on the White House. There will, though, be a recount in Georgia where margins are so tight. In Pennsylvania today, from the pro-Biden supporters, the party's already started. There's growing confidence, and yes, they'll be dancing in the streets. Donald Trump, you got to give it up, man! It's over for you! But from the Trump supporters, increasing anxiety and a lot of chants of USA. And in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Trump supporters resorted to prayer. Please let our luck change. Not the first time that prayer has been offered in Sin City. Last night, a disconsolate president made a long, unhappy statement, again alleging without evidence that he was being robbed of a victory that was his. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us and we think we will win the election very easily we think there's going to be a lot of litigation because we have so much evidence so much proof and it's going to end up perhaps at the highest court in the land astonishingly all the main u.s networks pulled away before he'd finished okay here we are again in the unusual position of not only interrupting the president of the united states but correcting the president of the united states this morning, the president issued this statement. We believe the American people deserve to have full transparency into all vote counting and election certification, and that this is no longer about any single election. This is about the integrity of our entire election process. I will never give up fighting for you and our nation. President Donald J. Trump. But holed up in the White House, the president isn't enjoying that much support for his legal battle from his party. This is the Republican senator from Pennsylvania. The president's speech last night was very disturbing to me because he made very, very serious allegations without any evidence to support it. I am not aware of any significant fraud, any significant wrongdoing. If it's happened, then the evidence needs to come out. We need to go to court. And the Democrat mayor of Philadelphia has also weighed in colourfully. 
You know, I think what the president needs to do is, frankly, put his big boy pants on. He needs to acknowledge the fact that he lost, and he needs to congratulate the winner, just as Jimmy Carter did, just as George H.W. Bush did, and frankly, just as Al Gore did, and stop this and let us move forward as a country. Meanwhile, in Wilmington, Delaware, the stage was set for a declaration on election night. It didn't happen then, but it might very soon. A declaration that Joe Biden has won and that he is now the president-elect. He's marching to the drumbeat of America's long-established democratic traditions, determined to be unaffected by the noise coming from the White House. Convention has it that the loser concedes before the winner claims victory. But Donald Trump is running out of legal avenues and it's begin beginning to seem clear that unless the vo votes change substantially in Pennsylvania, he really doesn't have a legal shot. And that means that Joe Biden, he's going to address the nation tonight, might find himself declaring victory without waiting for a Donald Trump concession. John Sobel, thank you. So, Joe Biden is on the brink of the presidency. He has waited more than 30 years for this moment. Our North America correspondent, Nick Bryant, is at Biden's campaign headquarters in Delaware. As John was saying, he's expected to address the nation tonight. The momentum is very much with him. Yeah, the question is whether he claims victory. He's not going to wait for a concession from Donald Trump because that simply won't come, but he might wait until Pennsylvania is declared. The message all along for the Biden campaign these past three days really has been to be calm, to be patient, to be confident because they are sure uh, they are going to win. They were on election night. They didn't freak out when Donald Trump took that early lead because they knew that as the mail-in ballots were counted, they would win states like Wisconsin, Michigan, and now Pennsylvania where his lead is unassailable and Joe Biden really has done the job that he was hired to do to take back those Rust Belt states that are ordinarily democratic but Donald Trump won four years ago and Sophie we are starting to see evidence of a transition of power the Secret Service has boosted its security around Joe Biden today the skies above me are now restricted space the sort of things you see when a politician moves from being a presidential candidate to the president-elect. Nick Bryant, thank you.